Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I thought I'd do a voiceover this evening. Uh, sometimes I just like to do it that way. I have eggplant, Anita brand. It's actually deep eggplant. And then I had metallic rose and metallic rose gold. So, I hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing fine. Just wanted to do a voiceover. Because sometimes when I'm talking, I mess up too. So, yeah. I just decided tonight to do a silent one and voiceover. So, I'm just putting down my deep eggplant. <laughs> This very pretty color too. It looks just like an eggplant. Um, which I don't really eat a whole lot of. I started thinking about that. I think I've had them maybe twice and I've made um, eggplant parmesan. Tried that recipe once. I wasn't really crazy about it. But I love zucchinis, you know, and all that stuff. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. Eggplant's just one of my least favorite. I love okra. All that zucchini stuff. Yellow zucchini squash. I love squash. Oh, my gosh. Butternut squash is so good. Anyway. Yeah, I'm doing good. Just thought I would do this voiceover. I put in the row the metallic rose, and I love this Anita rose gold or gold, not the rose gold. So this was my first time ever doing like uh, the long flowers. You know, and just kind of thought I would give it a try, and it worked out. It was my very first time. Before this, I was doing a dirty pour with these colors. And ugh, I didn't like it at all. It was just like, oh my gosh, you know. And the gold just ugh, did not go with it. So, yeah, I just went ahead and decided I thought that rose is so pretty. Really kind of wish I would have ran some rose around the sides, but... It's all good. The gold went well. And you can see the shimmer and everything. Worked out good. Now the eggplant is not metallic. But the other two are. I just realized today too, and by looking at these bottles, that they're by Rust-Oleum Corporation. I never knew that. I need a brand... I really do love Anita brands. I'm beginning to really love them. Anytime I go in Hobby Lobby, I have to get some. So then I just laid some white in there, and that's it. I'm going to get my saran wrap. And just going for it, I'm thinking, oh, this ain't going to work. <laughs> you know? It turned out really nice for my first one. I actually prefer the saran wrap over parchments. Well, I did a parchments already, and I did paper towels. I find the saran wrap, or plastic wrap, a lot of people don't know what saran wrap is. It's plastic wrap. You know, you wrap your food in. So, I didn't even know what, how to, you know, spread it, or what was I supposed to do? I don't know, so I just went for it. Patting it down. But I'm really pleased with it. Took pictures and immediately put it away. <laughs> to dry. I do have three paintings that are dry. Finally, I'll be showing those to you in my next video. I told you I'd show you when they dry each one. 
But uh, they just take a lot longer in that drying rack with the plastic over it. <clears throat> I love it because I have not had no bug problems. But paintings take a long time. Sometimes up to three to four days. It's crazy. But before here in Arizona, I could lay a painting out and it's dry immediately. Like the next day. It's crazy. But I have noticed the longer they take to dry, the brighter and prettier they turn out. They don't dry so quickly. It seems like the colors are always more vibrant lately. Okay, so here I go. <laughs> Kind of makes me mad because this painting, this canvas here, I just poured on, and there's a few drips of white on the bottom of the canvas from my first pour. Always something that turns out good, and the canvas is not perfect on the bottom, you know. So I just kind of figured this way to do it, and super happy. I know how to do it now. I think the middle I shouldn't have squeezed so much, although I think it went well with the two end flowers. Then my edges you can see were a little bare from, and then you could kind of see the color from my first dirty pour. But I did scrape it off, but it still surfaced a little. So I just covered it up with my white. It's okay to do this as long as you don't put a lot. It won't run off into your flower, and then if you level it immediately, it'll be good. But if you put a lot, it'll end up going into the flower. Anyway, that was it. <laughs> I was like, yeah. So I'm kind of glad I just did the gold on the sides. I think it worked out pretty good. You guys let me know what you think. Whether I should have put some pink maybe on the sides or not. So I did my little dippy thingy. Like Fiona does. and Of course I learned this from Fiona. We all know that. <laughs> I'll put her link in my description if you haven't watched Fiona. You need to go watch her. She's amazing. She knows how to pick her colors too. That's for sure. So I thought it was kind of nice because now I'm starting to get a little bit bigger. Oh, this is a 14, 11 by 14 canvas too. So I'm glad I'm not just working on the small 8x10s. I'm getting bigger flower ones, you know, reverse dip ones. Never know when this video is going to end, so it might cut me off real quick here. <laughs> There's no silicone in there. I mix those paints with two parts Floetrol and just, I mean, like a drop or two of water. I did not need a lot of water at all. So that's just paint and Floetrol. No silicone. That's why I like the Anita's. I've noticed that they sell up really nice. Isn't that awesome? Now, when the video was over, I did dab that little white in the center of that first flower. But I left that one alone. You can go back at the pictures in the beginning and see that the one at the 
the bottom now, now the one that's at the bottom. I dabbed a little. But, all right, guys, thank you for watching. Take it easy. I got to say goodbye, yay. <laughs> oh, no, that's right. I had to turn my thing around to see which way I liked it. And I found out I like it that way. <laughs> all right. And to do it one more time, just in case. Double check. <laughs> it's funny. Lots of fun, though. Got to try these. Super easy. Take it easy, guys. Hope you're doing well. Staying positive and staying happy. I'm doing it again here. See, I didn't know when I ended it. There we go. Bye-bye, guys.